Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. And here on my channel, we are all about real makeup for real life and real people. video is something old something new ColourPop edition the something old something new concept of a get ready with me is something that I saw over on Mandy Lee's channel so I'm gonna have her linked down below as well as her most recent something old something new video the three products that are new today are the ColourPop pretty fresh hydrating illuminator I picked mine up in the shade soft gold I'm curious if this is dupey for the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow primer and so I'm gonna be comparing these over on my Instagram check that out after this video of course and then the second product is actually from Soul Body, which is a sister company of ColourPop. And this is the Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Medium. Looks like this. I saw this over on Samantha March's channel and I kind of wanted to try it because she is not into cream products, but she really did enjoy this one. I've tried this one out a few times already. We're gonna try it in a new way today. And then the third new product that we're trying today is the That's Tote palette from ColourPop. I did a little poll over on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, you really should because I do polls. I ask you guys what you think about new releases and things like that. But I gave you guys the choice between this one and the Making Mobs palette and this one won by a landslide. So we're gonna be creating a look with that as well. I'm gonna fill in the gaps with a few other ColourPop products. And let's start by telling you what I did for the base, just to save time. I did go ahead and apply the Hydrating Illuminator in Soft Gold on the high points of my cheeks as a primer. They say that you can use this before makeup, you can mix it with your foundation, you can use it topically as a liquid highlight. And that was very much what drew me into trying this new product. For foundation, I don't have one from ColourPop, so I took from my Shop My Stash one of the two samples I wanted to use up this month. This is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. Not a big fan, way more full coverage than I thought it was. I just thought I'd tell you what I used. And then for concealer, I did go ahead and go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light 60N. This is a little pinky for me, but I do really like the formula. And then I set that all into place with another product from my Shop My Stash. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus. I did my brows. And now it's time to try out that bronzer. So I did pick this up in the shade medium. It does have a very slight coconut scent to it maybe. I have been trying it mostly with a brush so I thought today we would try a beauty sponge. This one happens to be from Eco Tools. I do tend to like to apply cream products with a sponge sometimes so I wanted to try that out today and see how it goes, see how it applies. I did powder, so we'll see what this looks like over a powder finish. I typically don't have much trouble with applying cream products, especially, you know, more firm cream products like this. I typically don't have much trouble. Where is this gnat coming from? Do you have gnats, Frank? I typically don't have a problem with applying cream products, specifically firm cream products like this over powders, um, but you can do whatever works best for you, of course. I do like the tone of this bronzer and it is applying nicely with a sponge. I don't know, I just feel like I have a little more control when I use a sponge with creams? I don't know. Hmm. So far I'm really liking this with the sponge. All right, I feel a little better about the complexion now that we're all bronzed up. 
Definitely looks more bronzy in person, but that's, you know, par for the course when it comes to filming in studio lights and things like that. Now, for highlighter, I have three options here. I am working with a Cool Tone palette, but I don't feel like that means that I have to apply all Cool Tone products to my face. The options I have are Lunch Money in the Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian, definitely more Cool Tone in the Super Shock Cheek, as well as a Light Stick from ColourPop. And this is in the shade Earth. It's kind of a pinky, peachy color. Mm, I don't know. Let us do Flexitarian. <laughs> For this, I'm gonna use my sponge. I do find that this is kind of the easiest way to apply Super Shock highlighters and just gonna press that into the areas that I would normally wear highlighter, high points of the cheek, the nose, Cupid's bow, and then we'll decide on a blush. Yep, <laughs> there's a glow. Take just the teeniest bit and apply to the cupid's bow. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go over the top with the sponge. I do have a little lip gloss on, so that's kind of obstructing a little bit, but I do like Flexitarian. I think it's really, really pretty. Definitely a blinding type of highlight, which I'm not afraid of or offended by. <laughs> Okay, let us talk blush. All right, I have three, no, I have four different ColourPop blushes. Um, the first one, which I don't think we will use, is actually in my Shop My Stash this month, but it is the shade Growth Flirt. Really beautiful reddish coral shade. I really do love that shade, actually. And then the one that I use all the time, <laughs> is another super shock cheek in the shade between the sheets just like a perfect rosy pink shade that i absolutely love to wear then we have a blush sticks this is in the shade aloha it's a really pretty sort of ter terracotta warm blush and then my most recent uh super shock cheek purchase <laughs> is this shade right here, which is called Too Cool for School. And I don't know if you noticed, but I think I'm gonna wear this one today. This is pretty new, like I said, and I do want a little bit of warmth um, on the face besides all the cool tones. So we're gonna use this one today. The brush I absolutely love to use with the Super Shock Cheeks is the ELF 105 brush from their Beautifully Precise line this too cool for school uh does have a little bit of a sheen to it so it is really pretty and then i just like to stipple the blush on and then you can always go back in with the beauty blender to sort of blend the edges and things like that but this is such a pretty color i'd seen it you know from a few people um, and it's just such a unique color to my collection. It's sort of orangey, sort of rusty, just really beautiful. I'm curious if you guys have used and or still use Super Shock Cheek products. I know these are kind of like old school YouTube, but I still think they're fantastic. And I really, really love them. Of course, you do want to always tighten the caps on these really well because they can dry out otherwise since they are sort of a putty cream type product. All right, eyes are primed and I'm ready to get into this palette. I love taupe and I was really tempted by this palette when I first saw it. I kind of told myself I didn't need it and I definitely don't need it. I still really wanted it and when I made an order for some magnetic palettes, empty magnetic palettes, 
I went ahead and threw these on for free shipping, this one and making mauves, which I also really wanted. So let's get into it. I think we'll start things off with this shade right here called Boa as a transition. Just looks like a nice light transition shade. I do have a couple of Super Shock shadows. I don't know if I'll use any today. We'll see once we get going on this palette, but if not, I will show them to you anyway. Well, that blended out beautifully and easily, which is definitely something I've come to expect from ColourPop and their mattes, especially. I feel like their shimmers can be a little hit or miss sometimes, but their mattes just always seem to be pretty darn good. All right, let's go. I kind of want to try out this Python shade. It looks like it might have a little bit of a rosy um, hint to it. So let's try that one. I'm gonna start this on the outer part of the lid just to deepen things up. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll start pulling it into the crease. I always find it so interesting that I like the way taupe looks on me or cool tone eye looks considering that my skin tone is so warm. If you are a person that likes ColourPop, what is your current favorite ColourPop palette? I'm curious because there's been a lot of good ones released lately at For a Sight from Raw Beauty Christie. I did three looks and review on. I can link that one for you. The Mandalorian palette, the child, or as we like to call it here on the internet, the Baby Yoda palette. You know, what are what are your faves? Or is it like an older palette, you know? I would say out of Raw Beauty Christie and the child palette, the most recent ones I've tried, I, I like them both. I hate to say I like one better than the other. Going back into the original shade with the original fluffy brush just to blend. I hate to say that one's a favorite over another, um, especially because I've had both of them for such a short amount of time. But if I had to pick one for the sake of conversation, I probably would pick the Child palette, the Mandalorian palette, only because I still stand by what I said in my review about the At Forest Sight palette with Raw Beauty Christie, and that is, it's more of a companion palette. For me, it's more of a palette that I would pair with some other kinds of shimmers or things like that. So that's my school of thought, but I'm always curious what you guys are loving on. I think to deepen up the outer corner, I'm gonna go into the very last messy shade in the palette and it's called Bedrock. I'm picking just a little bit of this up on an angled brush. I'm gonna start this on the upper lash line and the outer corner area. And then once most of the pigment is off, I will blend it up into the crease a little bit. That definitely deepened things up in a hurry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back into the previous shade, which was Python, and pick it up on that same angled brush and just have a little blend. Make sure everything's as soft as I want it to be. And then while we're at it, I'm gonna pick up that same shade Python on a little smudger brush and smudge this on the lower lash line. Not anything crazy, just a little bit of definition and you know, something to meet up with the upstairs. All right, the question is which of these stunning shimmers are we gonna use? This first one, which is called Slated, is the Super Shock Shadow formula. And then you have Snake Eyes, Cold Blooded, and Constrictor. Hmm. 
I think I'll start with snake eyes here. And I'm just gonna pick that up on my finger and smooth this over the lid. That's very smooth and brightening. And it's just that everyday sort of metallic texture that we like from ColourPop. I guess we meaning me. <laughs> That's really pretty. I do want to try out the Super Shock Shadow. And those always work better either with a finger or like a sponge tip applicator. You know, those little applicators that most people throw away. Keep them for super shocks. And I'm just gonna place this kind of along the lash line in the center of the lid or for a little highlight than anything. I just saw another hair escape. This is so pretty. I'm gonna use this super shock highlight that we used on the face, that flexitarian shade. I'm gonna pick it up on this little dense brush, tap it off a little bit on the back of my hand and use this as an inner corner highlight. I do love these super shock shadows and highlights for the inner corner because they have a little bit of a moisture to them that then doesn't make my inner corner or inner part of my eye look dry as some highlights do or some eyeshadows i should say so just a little tip there. What I'm gonna do right now is pop off of here, do a little liner, mascara, the hair, and then I will come back and we will finish off this look with a something old ColourPop lippy. <laughs> All right, we're back. I did not do much with the hair because it's still drying, so bear with me. Let's pretend it looks pretty. I finished off the eyes with my Wet n Wild Simma Brown Now pencil with the broken cap that drives me crazy. This is like my everyday holy grail brown eyeliner. And then I put a little nude liner in the lower inner rim and the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara just to keep things a little affordable. So. Pulled out all of my little ColourPop lippies here. First and foremost, love the lippy sticks. No, the lippy pencils. <laughs> um, this one's in the shade Frenchie, and I just like this as a budge proof red lip. So I just wanted to mention that. And then one of my favorite everyday lip liners is the shade BFF2. All right, then I thought we would go into one of my lippy sticks that I have here. And the shade I wanna use a little bit of is called Who Run This? And it's like a beautiful rusty orange. Do you see a theme? <laughs> so I'm just putting a little of this on, or a lot of it. And I'm gonna smudge this out. I really do love this color. I think it's really pretty, but I wanted to see what it would look like if I put a little bit of my Just a Tint lip crayon in the shade Give Me Some More. This is a really nice warm nude, and I thought, what if this makes Who Run This a little bit more wearable? Well, I know. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take off this lippy real quick and we'll go with something else. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. We have that lip removed. I think I have it mostly wiped off. Yeah, I have it wiped off. I'm gonna go in with 
give me some more. What are your favorite lippies from ColourPop? I am curious. I do really like this Just a Tint crayon in the shade Gimme Some More. It's a really nice nude color. Do we need anything else? Maybe a titch more blush. We'll apply it with the finger this time. I find that that way I get a little bit more of a concentrated bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Woo. <laughs> Don't be scared, we'll go over it with a sponge in a second. All right, so I did mention that I have a couple of super shocked shadows. I only have a couple. I try not to buy too many of these because they don't tend to reach for like potted single shadows very often. But I did want to mention them because they are quite special. This one is called Sailor and it's quite beautiful. It's got some sparkle to it, but it also has like a teal or aqua colored flip to it. And so I really like adding that as a finishing touch on certain looks. And then the most recent one that I purchased, I purchased on the recommendation of Mandy Lee. It did come to me broken, so it looks a little crap in the pot here. But this one is called Ladybird. I feel like I wanna try it. Let's try it, okay? Just pick up the tiniest bit and add all. Now that is pretty. Add the sparkle. Wowza. Okay, I'm glad I purchased this one. Wow. All right. So Super Shock Shadows, I love them. I just don't recommend you buy a ton because they do eventually dry out. So pick a few special shades like this one. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about those few new products that we tried today. Starting off with the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Illuminator. I'm gonna keep trying this. Um, I do think it gives a nice glow to the skin underneath the foundation. I do want to put it up side by side with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. Just out of curiosity, I'd love to be able to provide you guys with an affordable dupe. The Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I really like this. I think it's a nice shade for me. Easy to apply. You can apply it in any way that you see fit. I mean, it might take a while with your fingers, but typically people use stuff like this with a brush or with a sponge, and I like it both ways. And then lastly, the That's Taupe Palette. First of all, 10 out of 10 for this like snake skin packaging always love the inclusion of a super shock shadow this would be a great inner corner highlight i think as well i love that there's this little bit of a grainier um color down here so i'll look forward to using this some more let me know in the comments below if there's any more content you would like to see with the That's Taupe palette. Also, let me know down in the comments if there's any other ColourPop products that you think that I absolutely need to try for a future video like this. I definitely want to try some kind of a foundation. Would love your recommendations on that. So let me know down below. And with all of that said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love getting ready with you guys. And I love talking about ColourPop and other affordable makeup brands. So if you did love today's video, I would absolutely appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Helps you find my videos more easily on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I upload. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video real soon.